What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, we back at it, man. I got a jam-packed video for you guys, so keep it locked as we about to continue to dominate this upcoming week. Okay, guys, with that being said, I want to say major salute to those of you that did your thing on a day. Listen, man, I want to say one thing about just where we're currently at in this market, okay? Really, really quickly, guys, because we have had such a massive sell-off and because we are at the lows of the year, some plays I'm gonna talk about in a second, some things has already surpassed the lows, the previous lows of the year, and some are in route to doing so. And so things can get very, very tricky in that window, in that area, okay? So your stocks might not move in the normal pattern that you might be have come accustomed to seeing them move. And so, and I want to put that out there so that you guys can avoid little traps that the that the market may set for you just because we're already oversold we're already at or near lows and so the market moves very very weird until we actually break through or make a definitive decision make like a reversal to the upside or something like that okay but with that being said check this out guys the s p 500 not just new closing low for 2022 this is kind of stuff I'm talking about, guys, okay? And you know around here, I tell you guys, everything flow from the spy. We talk about this every day in the Discord and often a lot on the channel, okay? The Dow falls into bear market as the dollar surges. Remember I taught you guys or showed you guys the importance of the DXY, okay? Whether it's the VIX or the dollar. Dollar is DXY, the VIX is VIX, okay? You can look at those two and if they're going up stocks is going down okay i always want you guys to know little indicators and other resources that you can use to make sound decisions especially in a bear market see in a bull market guys a lot of all these things don't even matter stocks just gonna go up 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 and up every day there's very minimum learning needed to see that a stock is going up in price okay you just know you're making money in a bear market you got to be a little more strategic that's why we say it's a game of chess not checkers okay but check this out guys the s p 500 decline over one percent to three six five five falling below the june low of 3666 okay at one point during the day the index dipped to 3644 okay pay attention to these numbers and these levels because this is where the weird price action can happen at if you are trading so for us this is the 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 big spy es okay but our numbers would be 365 364 okay 363 pay attention to when spy is at these levels because you will start to see the weird things happening that's why these numbers are significant here in this article okay check this out the dow dropped 329 points or 1.1 percent to 29,260, accelerating losses in the final moments of trading so they had an end of day sell-off okay again showing that the sellers and the bears are still in control okay pay attention to those things guys because they have a bearing on some of your individual plays okay now check this out guys dr doom robini expects a long ugly recession and stocks sinking another 40 percent okay now dr doom cites high debt ratios of both firms and nations global recession throughout 2023 will hit zombie countries okay and then even in a plain vanilla recession the s p 500 can fall by 30 percent we already seen that a bear market equals 20 percent or more okay so when we start saying something is in a bear market whether it's an individual stock and or an index like the s p 500 the qqq the dow if we are saying it's in a bear market we're essentially saying it's down 20 percent or more he's saying dr doom is saying that a bear market in general just with no other catalyst going on can go down 30 percent so that proves to be true because we seeing it right now even though we got russia ukraine we got inflation we got a lot of things going on okay but with that being said guys a real hard landing is expected and that's why the the 40 percent fall is in play okay again that kind of stuff remains to be seen but i never the less i want to put that out there so that you guys can know 
both ends of the spectrum. You got bears, you got people that think the market is going to go down, and you got bulls who are more bullish that will think the market will maybe be at all time highs by the end of the year. Okay, I tell you guys over here, we ain't bears, we ain't bulls, we get money. I just want to teach you guys the game, show you guys about price action every day because we take it one day at a time one play at a time and that's how you guys can dominate any market okay let's go ahead and dive into it okay guys i want to call your attention to apple really quickly because where apple goes so does the market okay listen apple out of everything is probably holding up the best even though if we go out year to date they're only up three percent if we go out the last three months they're up a little over five percent if we go out the past month they're down six percent and in the past week they're down one percent but check this out guys apple is so key because they're holding up the best but if apple was to fall below this level right here if apple breaks 150 and then loses this 148 level guys apple is going to come back down to 140 and 135 and apple being the biggest weighted company in the indexes okay when apple falls is for sure bringing everything with it so if if the s p is falling on its own the dow is falling the nasdaq is falling okay apple is the only thing that's holding it up from falling more than what it already has does that make sense okay but if apple falls look at today guys it held up look at this test 150 150 even in after hours 150 150 150 look at those look at how many tests of 150 i'm trying to tell you guys i'm telling you to you from an educational standpoint and from an informational standpoint if we lose apple guys it's gonna be even more pain. It's over, okay? Point blank period. It's already, man, stocks is getting annihilated. It's gonna be even worse because Apple is propping the rest of the whole market up, okay? Because they're strong. They still getting killed too, but they're stronger than all the other stocks in the stock market, all right? So if we lose Apple, like meaning if it go under 150, then it's gonna go to 149, 148, 147. Those are all support levels. I'm not just naming them because they are the next in line. No, they have real support there, meaning they're not gonna just fall. They're gonna fight when they get to those levels. But if they break, it's coming to 140, it's coming back to 135, and it's gonna bring the whole market down. That's why we're believing that if this happens, that the stock market has lower to go because it will grab the S&P 500 and bring that down with it, okay? Speaking of the SPY, look at this, guys. Ticker symbol SPY sitting at 365 10 right now at the time of this recording, but it sold off to end out the day and it closed around 364. Like I showed you in that article, guys, we made a new year low, inch of the year, okay, for this 2022. And so again, what happens from here? Will we get a bounce or a dead cat bounce? Or will we now fall further through those lows that we tested okay that remains to be seen but everything is leaning more towards the downside but listen to this even though that's true we are due just for a relief rally because they've been selling off the stock market for the last five days in a row okay so that doesn't mean it has to come tomorrow i'm just telling you guys it's in the horizon for it to happen for it to come okay so whether it come tomorrow we don't know but know that a pop is due. I'm talking about a, a decent pop, but just know it's not sustainable. It's just a relief because they have sold off five days in a row. So they might make the stock market go up one or two days and then come right back to these levels and take it even down further, okay? That's just how the cycles of the game go. I want you guys to not fall for the pump fake, but if you can take advantage of it, okay? Whether you ride it up and then come back down with it or whether you wait for it to go up, knowing that what i just shared with you they're going to take it up it's going to get to a resistance level that it can't get through but it just want to shake out the shorts and then boom it'll come right back down okay so be on the lookout for both apple and spy on tomorrow okay from an individual standpoint you i want you to look at apple and tesla and from an index standpoint i want you to look at the spy okay qqq 
is very similar to the spy so anything i say about the spy could also relate to the cues okay so just know that all right but with that being said guys listen i want you guys to be ready but i want you more importantly to manage your risk during these times meaning you might need to let the dust settle letting the dust settle means you might need to see if we're going to make newer lows then you jump back in the game you may need to see if we're going to bounce from here and then rock it back up for a minute and then you jump back in versus trying to play these areas because i noticed they're making the market move very very crazy during this time period okay listen guys i hope that was helpful man we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace